It was a phone call that I'll never forget. My grant had been approved. That first CRI grant was my lifeline. It was my first grant ever. I became interested in cancer immunology when I was uh, a resident on the bone marrow transplant service at Hopkins. So I sort of had this transformative moment. I said to myself, you know, if we understood the immune system better and how to regulate it better, we should be able to give ourselves a better therapeutic window where we took advantage of what the immune system can do to kill cancer cells. There were a lot of question marks. Very little was known about the molecules that regulated the immune response. So the funding opportunities at the time were slim. I had a lot of um, heartburn as to whether I'd be able to make it through my second year with the funding that I was given to start my laboratory. And this is where the CRI pretty much um, saved my career. Drew is someone that I have known for um, as long as I have been at Johns Hopkins. And I came to him very early on in my time here when I asked, who are the truly extraordinary thought leaders? People who are doing what great scientists do. We feel very lucky that Drew is at Hopkins. We knew things were really going to change when we began to see patients coming back with tumor regressions from our very first trial of an anti-PD-1 antibody. It was this inflection point, the opportunity now to develop so many new immunotherapeutics and combine them in completely novel ways are unprecedented. Because of organizations like CRI that invested so early on in the work of Drew, who took a chance on him at a time when a lot of other scientists really dismissed the possibility that you could ever see cancer immunotherapy be an effective treatment regime. And now we really regard this cancer immunotherapy program as one of the foundational parts of our treatment of cancer. So the support provided by the Cancer Research Institute quite simply is the margin of excellence for us here at Hopkins. Because every minute that you're thinking about how do I fill that funding gap? How do I get the next grant and the next grant? Is a minute you're not thinking about how you're gonna cure cancer with the immune system. The future immune to cancer is really about precision immunotherapy. These are not just pure academic pursuits. They always have that focus on how can we translate this to develop better immunotherapies for cancer patients.